Well, here I am after a long day. Started, uh, only got a little bit. I usually take an afternoon nap, but uh, I, I elected to go to the film about the 2.30, which means I had to leave here. It doesn't matter. But um, but I did take a tiny, 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 tiny nap after I took my uh, morning walk, which was a long, well, it wasn't long, but uh, I was back by 8.30, something like that. In fact, when I came back, I ran into Craig Harris. Yeah, he was sweeping his porch. He was doing the, the old time Harlem thing, you know, and he gave me, Look, because, uh, you know, I keep on missing Craig when he's playing, right? But there's going to be a uh, uh, celebrating 100 years of Charles Mingus. You know, was, was Mingus the one that did um, uh, the whole underground thing? Uh, Notes from the underground? Yeah, I think so. That's right. I read that book. It's hilarious. I want to read the, I want to read the, um, they put it out and edited it or something like that. But there's a, an original thing that is like loads Man, who would know? I know who knows that too, because she worked with him. Um, Janet Coleman knows about that. Anyway, anyway, but but uh, it's going to be celebrating the hundred years of Uh fingers. Uh, it's going to be featuring uh, Buster Williams, Craig Harris, Regina Carter, Camille Thurman, and more, and more to have, and more to have Mike King, Carla, Carla Cook, and Joaquin Pozo, and this is going to be. Uh, August 21st. Ooh, I have a conflict that day because that's when Beats and Barbecue with Reggie is. Ooh. Now, this is, this is going to be up in Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie at Poughkeepsie, New York. Mm. Now, I know Beats and Barbecue is from like 3 in the afternoon to 9. I don't know if I can make it back in time. I got to see Craig, though. I ain't seen Craig in a long, long time. But then again, it's going to be the 15 years of Beats and Barbecue. Conflict, conflict, conflict. Ah. Um, we have time. I'll figure something out. Maybe. Let's see what happens. But this is going to be fantastic. Um, and of course, fit it out $55 at the gate 65 Do they, do they have a senior citizen rate? They have a student rate at $20 at the gate ID. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I, t I talked to um, talk to Grayson today. I got to see him tomorrow at the station. Oh, the wheels are turning. Maybe I can get Grayson to spend money, right, to pay for the ticket, because I ain't got no money. Mm. Oh, I got to do the Bronx thing, man. I'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Probably gotta pick, I don't even want to do that to my friend, you know what I mean? But he might have money, you know what I'm saying? And I know if you touch the ocean, she's like, go to Poughkeepsie. I got to take the Metro North up there, too. We'll work something out. So this is going to be a fantastic concert, right? So I got to be there for that. Anyway, then I then I went to the movie. I saw this movie. I wanted to see it in Cape Town, but I couldn't get to the theater in time. The conflict was whatever. Something was happening. But there's a movie called uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And uh, so I saw it that the Cinema Village was playing it. So I went there, got the Senior Citizen discount. Right, It's like uh, $8. But if they, if they transfer it to Rand, it's about like, like, like 130-something Rand. So I could have got it, Senior Citizen, at Cape Town for maybe 70 Rand or less. Uh, either way, it was an interesting film. I call it a a, a a feminist film. I call it a, you know, you have the mother, the the, the, the father, son, come. this is like mother, daughter thingy, you know, and it's uh, I, it looked like the, the there's two directors. One looks like a regular old white guy director, and they both together, they, they call it the Daniels. They both names one was Dan something, one was Daniel something, whatever it is. And the other one's Korean. I don't know if this is going to fly in Korea with all the stuff that was happening in the movie. I don't know. I see a lot of Korean films. Whoa, I see a lot. We went on, I went on a tear one time seeing all those Asian films, all that stuff before, like, like Old Boy and all that stuff before everybody was popular. All the, phew, some, man, some of the Korean directors are amazing. Uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I found it quite interesting. Uh, I would, I, but I, you can't see it one time. You got to see it more than one time. Phew. So that happened. And then, I went, because I saw it yesterday when I went to the store, I went and got this beer I saw. See, I'm a dark beer, like whatever. To me, dark beer is medicine. That's what I do to Guinness, right? Get a stout, you know, not just, there's all kinds of Guinnesses, but there's one that's like that. But this one I saw at the, um, at the, that store, I mean, that store at 100, what's 18th and then Frederick Douglass Boulevard. Anyway, I saw it yesterday, I didn't get it. Because I was, you know, see, it's not as dark as I think it should be, but it's dark. 
So I'm going to try this. I like to see the head go up, man. So what, what can I tell you? And what's this made out of? Hold on, hold on. Let me see. I got the, I ain't got my reading glasses. I got this. What did I say? Belgian, brew, Belgian brewing techniques date back um, many centuries to when monks, there's a thing when the monks get involved, you know what I mean? Brewed beer. Those old world techniques still influence the rich, full bodied uh, flavor of Brosen I don't know what his name is here, that is sought after around the globe. So that's what this is. Uh, uh, with notes of plums and cherries, got me there, like cherries. Um, and Brosen Silu, well, triple, what some says, the ale. Um, I don't know if the ale thing, this is just, just well, it's looking darker. Yeah. Uh, uses a unique fermentation. Oh, there you go, fermentation. That's good. Uh, process that delivers outstanding flavor. Uh, best before July 10th, 2024. And this was brewed on June. It says, I don't know, something like 7 JU 1211. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Wow. So this is a, uh, this is quite, uh, and, and then the guy that got the, there at the till, Oh, we say till the, the cash register. I'm so I'm so torn between you know talking the, the way they talk in South Africa and the way they talk here. I don't know, but anyway, this oh this is the beer. See, that's what it looks like. That's what the, the main name of it is. I'm not really doing an advertising for them. I'm just the Belgian triple triple hell. I just like to tell you what what I'm doing. But he said there's another one that says either like a four on the pack. So I got to try that. So I put this like that. So we'll see how this is. Will I give you a rating? Nah, you gotta try it for yourself. We'll see what happens. So that was my day. There's some other stuff that happened, but oh, pff, oh, oh, let me tell you what happened. Last night I went and got a falafel here on 25th Street. It was it was terrible. I think part of it was because those guys, they ain't got no love in that shop. Maybe it's because there's a lot of, you know, there's a, the whole, uh, recovering addict in this area a lot. And, uh, you know, just regular black people. And these are, you know, these are, they look like more Puerto Rican. Well, Puerto Ricans should be all right, man, but they some Latino kind of peoples, and I don't think they really like black people. And they gave me a hard time. So my, I guess my body was saying, "Hey, hey, hey, you falafel man, you falafel all over the world, man. The, the best falafel you ever had was in Paris. That whole Moroccan strip that they had there, that was the best falafel. But in New York, when you New York, you always got to go to Mahmoud. You know, you got to go to Mahmoud. And why? <laughs> but I was having a taste for falafel last night, so I said, my, my body said, nah. You know, because I was looking for uh, where Nail is coming and play this um, Kata Institute. So I just wanted to check where the place is out. So I found it. It's close from the, the, the well, I, I used to call it, it used to be called the Gay Men's Crisis Center down on 13th Street, 12th Street, whatever it is. And uh, it's right across from there. So at least I don't know where it is. I got to go. I'm going to go there and find out when they're going to, when they're going to, when he's going to be there. Where, but, you know, get all the details. Anyway, so I went down to Muck Boots and, and had a fall off. Oh. Oh man, I love their hot sauce and everything like that. The hot sauce they gave us at this thing, man, like, this is a little hot sauce for, but you get from like, I don't know, any old fast food joint. It's a terrible place. I ain't never gonna go there more. Yeah, because they ain't got no love there. But, hey, I don't know. They they got love when they doing their stuff. That's all I can say. So that's it. That's all I want to say. Because that's that's what I do. I being me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Skull. Letting you know what I only suspect. Let me tell you what I want to say. A little sweet, but strong. Okay, a little sweet for my taste. We'll see. I'll talk to you later.